Ah, to death till death do us part. It's from the Herald Sun. A jury awarded a widow a multi-million dollar verdict in a medical malpractice case after her husband suffered a fatal heart attack during sex with two, not one, two other people. William Martinez, a, a police officer, went to a cardiologist, a heart doctor, in Lawrenceville, Georgia, after experiencing symptoms of heart problems. Attorney said the doctor failed to recognize that Martinez's symptoms were serious and should have sent him to the hospital for treatment. But really what's more important here is what got him to this point, and it's not the lawsuit that ensued. Days after visiting the doctor, Martinez goes to a motel to see a woman, not his wife, and another man for a sexual rendezvous. He died after having sex numerous times. The female returned from the bathroom to find them collapsed on the floor. This is not an isolated story. In fact, there is a much higher rate of mortality, death, largely from heart disease, in men who cheat and participate in sex than those with heart disease and who engage in marital sex. Is it the feeling of guilt coupled with this uh, pre-existing heart disease and the physical stress of sexual contact? Is it that that seems to result in a higher risk? Sex can and should be fun and healthy. I encourage sexual contact at any age for both men and women. A good sexual workout can rival an aerobic session at your local gym. Plus, it has the advantages of sustaining intimacy, and the data shows that it decreases some kinds of cancers. It improves respiratory performance and improves cognition. How you think? Look, I'm not your alter ego. Uh, I do not sit on your shoulder as your conscience, but the fact is that cheating increases your risk of sudden death. It's a fact. Sorry, guys. So my counsel is to stick with the one you love and work out whatever your sexual needs are. I'm often astounded that my married patients with kids have never discussed with each other their innermost turn-ons and wishes with regard to sex. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Don't hide under the bed. Why look elsewhere when you can have the best intimate relations with one who you love and who loves you? Between partners, shame has no place. Communication builds stronger and healthier relationships. Each one of us has unique, deep needs, and if you do not tell the other about it, they're never going to know and they can't respond. Don't be afraid to discuss your desires and try your best to accommodate the needs and wishes of your partner. I can't think of a better thing to do for your relationship, for having fun, improving your health, and living longer than healthy, truly intimate sex. This is Dr. Sam Benjamin with Medical News You Can Use.